Do okay, how about, how about, okay, let's just, let's see what happens if we start now. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome to the official, uh, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep. yep. You yep. had three words between the two of you. Uh, there's a yeah. lot of pressure. Facial, facial recognition, recognition common. This room smells too good. Let's for say a it all together. Okay. Facial. Okay, well, let me do the welcome, welcome to too. facial recognition common podcast. podcast. Yeah. Oh, oh you, got, you want to say podcast? Is <laughs> that what you want to say? Okay. Come on, instant. Uh, I like the podcast it. one. Okay. Uh, okay. I got the podcast one. Okay. Well, who the hell are you guys? Yeah, introduce oh, yourself. Oh, my name is Ali Sultan, and I'm Mohana Del Sheikhi. And welcome to. Facial recognition comedy podcast. podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is uh, dumb. Comedy is all about timing. Oh, and <laughs> yep. oh We're God. really good at timing, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So just so you recognize the voices, this is Fizza Dasani. This is Zara Ali. And Paula Viganalan. There's five of us on this podcast today. Because we had the pleasure of having Mohanad and Ali on our show yesterday at Westside. Hey. You guys did great. You had awesome sets. Yeah. It was wonderful it's, to watch it's you. such a great concept. I, I, like, I enjoyed watching. I usually don't. Do you enjoy watching comedy? Uh... Sometimes I like my <laughs> I, I, I like watching my YouTube videos yeah. of my sets. over and yeah. over again. Yeah, it's Do you really enjoy watching your own YouTube videos? No, I hate I, it so much. I yeah. don't know any comic that enjoys watching themselves back. Right. On like sometimes, TV. like watching shows, like a full show is kind of tough. But yeah. you guys, your show is so fun. It was so great. Thank it was you. fun, right? Even the reporter that was in there, like uh, the buddy of mine, yeah, Neil. he's Neil. like, "Hey, let me know if, uh, if they ever come in town. I'll give him some ink." We want to come into town. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah I got it. Which you're from Minneapolis, right? Yeah. So yeah. we got Minneapolis. What's close to Minneapolis? We were planning Chicago already. Yeah, Chicago's the uh, like it's uh, Minneapolis, Wisconsin, Chicago. So yeah. So could, could we possibly away. do like Ma uh, could we do like <clears throat> a Chicago Madison? Oh yeah. And yeah. Minneapolis Smart, is yeah. that possible to do? We would just yeah, do that yeah, tri yeah, tri yeah. is it a triangle up there? Like I don't know. Um, I don't understand Midwest geography. Ma Madison it's at is least very, a line. <laughs> Madison's very close to Chicago. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's you, five hours away from Minneapolis. You're hearing us plan this out Talking right now. Can I be podcast? your agent? I want to be your agent you, or manager for this store. Yeah, let, let, let's what, do what percentage? This. There's a lot of money in this. I like I what like percentage? to make sure. I'm I, you know, I'm fair, you know. Yeah, let's What's fair. What's fair to you? This you is a straight up business. <laughs> you guys, what's you guys have a Listen, Mohana, shut up. We're dealing with business right oh, now. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I want to fix rates. <laughs> okay, hold up. But Mohana's got like the Pacific Northwest, right? Because you're from Portland. Yes. Portland, oh. baby. Ten, yeah, 10%. Okay. 10%. He knows yeah. what he wants. Oh, absolutely. All right, yeah. listen. Uh, but you I'm know. just saying this is verbal. We haven't shaken on anything. Let's go with, There's nothing let's go on with 30% <laughs> and then negotiate from there. We're just, listen. we're burning this podcast. Okay, okay you start at 30. We'll start at zero. Okay. And then we can end at uh, five. Five. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was Let's thinking. Let's go with settle five, five, five bucks. Okay. Actually, zero percent. Oh, we're talking okay. percentage. Okay. Let us explain. Let us actually explain what, what happened yeah. to our listeners. Usually, our lineup is an all-female lineup of South Asian American and Middle Eastern American women. Um, we recently had a male start hosting, um, you know, because we want to make sure that the male voice is heard on our show. <laughs> trying to see if they're funny. No, honestly. We're trying to put them to work. That, yeah. Let's just be honest. That's pretty much yeah. it. Because we just want to go up there. Because usually, usually when you're hosting as a comic, you don't necessarily, you kind of sacrifice your own set. Yeah. They're comics. You know? So we're like, all right, let's have the dudes do the hard part. And yeah. we go up there and we showcase our best material. Absolutely. You know, yeah. and just have fun. That's a smart thing. So that's basically what we did. It's like if you're doing an, yeah. an all black show and then a white guy takes the bullet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly exactly it. yeah, that's exactly it. A white guy so, taking a bullet for black people? Amazing. Oh, <laughs> she's quick. Hey. So, see? See? Also, so we got, also we got no the, one is going to shoot a white guy. So yeah. oh, that's <laughs> true. That's true. Um, so a white, like a white hot. man is like, like a bulletproof vest. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Where is Paul? The best vest is, is Paul's privileged. Mexican, by the way. Well, <laughs> white passing. It's okay. The, yeah. It's the Actually, Mahana, you're the you're, best we can do right you're now. You're white passing. Do you, yeah. do you get that? Not a lot? according to you, ICE. Yeah. <laughs> His name is Mahan Mahana. Yeah. Mahana with an N. Yeah. On I mean, I, I, I pass by until I open my mouth, and they're like, "Yeah, that's not white." <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. could. So do you, you could pass for like we, Italian a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I I pass like I'm like colonize other people for sure. Yeah. I can see you doing that yeah 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 <laughs> that's why i was like so mad i wasn't uh i wasn't in the versace assassination thing uh the uh, uh oh, the yeah. show about it like because oh, it's a whole italian family yeah. i could have been his brother or something yeah you could have totally did you audition for it no <laughs> it came out after it was oh you like, wanted to be discovered 
Yeah, yeah, I could have. Where don't were know. you? Where were you? Where did you want to be discovered? Just what at home, you? Portland. Yeah, Portland. Portland. Just walking around and just being like, ah. As far also, as I'm concerned, Mohanan's either in Portland or on a bus. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wait. So, are you? Are, do people get discovered just walking the streets in Portland? Is Absolutely this a story? Absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I think I if yeah. I think if if you're on the streets of Portland and you don't have a tattoo or a beard, you might get discovered. Like you True. might. That might yeah. be hot shit. That's true. <laughs> I'm Absolutely. I'm currently looking at Mohanad's headshot right now. If you go to uh, how do you say your last name? Mohanad Elshaki. Elshaki. Mohanad Elshaki. Yeah. you could get a great bio of him with some really amazing pictures of you and a bunch yeah. of old uh, <laughs> videotapes. Yeah, because yes. you were going very hipster with it. Absolutely, because the guy who shot it is from Seattle, so. Nice. So Seattle, is that the only place in the country where they still watch VHS? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. Well, what's the meaning behind that picture? I, <laughs> there's so many layers to it. Like, no, it that, like, yeah. So he's unrolling the tape, which um, I think is his version of protesting the Versace movie, right? <laughs> ah. That's, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That was super so. amazing. Yeah, that's the best way to look. Uh, Are these like movies you like or some shit? Or? I to There's, this to this there? day I haven't read Bubble Boy? the names on the movie. Baseballs? <laughs> The mask, the mask, the full Monty. Those are good. Yeah. Scary movie. So it's just him telling you what to do, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I can't believe that photographer took advantage of you like that. You got yeah. failure. You, you got so failure funny. to launch in here. Are you it Matthew was, McConaughey fan? It was for free though, so I didn't, oh, well. pay, I didn't have to pay for it. So well, that's great. And yeah. you know, comics, Amazing. we always we're always in for the free deal, yeah. as are most brown people. And I it's know. the you're, it's a free photo that you're using for your like your bio yeah, photo. So exactly. you're getting yeah. a lot of mileage out of it. It's a good one. Absolutely. What are some What are some highlights here? So you you're are... originally from Libya. Yeah. Wait, can we just can we talk about the bus incident? Yeah. Wait, what's let's, what's happening with the bus? Incident? Okay. Wait, yeah. was so it talk about in... your? Sorry, go ahead. Was it in Libya? No, no, no. Talk <laughs> no. about your background and then what happened with ICE. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I'm I'm originally from Libya, from Benghazi specifically. Uh, and do you know uh, Hillary? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the sorry. emails, I have all of them. Did you send? They're actually Hillary in the tapes. Emails. Yeah, they're on. The- <laughs> <laughs> they're all in the video in the tapes. tapes. Yeah. On yeah. his bio. Yeah, it's website. mostly cat videos. <laughs> okay. Uh, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, a uh, few a week ago, I was I was in uh, I was in uh, Pullman, Washington, doing a show at Washington State University. Uh, this is how you know this is going to be a terrible story already because that place sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> no offense to any listeners who go there. No one in Pullman listened to anything. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, it's, it's very sad there. <laughs> Yeah, and I was going back, and I stopped at Spokane bus station, uh, taking a Greyhound bus, and then I got stopped by a uh, uh, border patrol who like just got into the bus, and they asked me if I was a citizen, and I said no, I'm not, and they like asked me uh, to come out, and then asked me for my papers and stuff, and uh, I gave them my papers. Okay, here's and my. And it, it wasn't STD papers. It was your citizen. <laughs> okay, your, your yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah. Here's my driver's <laughs> license. Here's my work permit. Here's my like immigration case number. Whatever. All of you that. You have to carry all that with you when you're traveling. Yeah, you just carry it just just in just case. to be safe. Just, yeah, you That's know, outrageous. being just yeah. being Middle Eastern in America, you have yeah. to do it. Yeah, and even after yeah. like doing that, they were like, uh, they were like, yeah, they, these look fake. <laughs> what? I was like, no, they're not fake. And they were like, yeah, they, they can be falsified. And I'm like, no, which, they. Which, which is a good point, though. What's that? That can be falsified. It, it, it's Everything a very good lies. point. <laughs> except that on their website, they say that since 2011, those uh, the documents cannot be falsified because they're fraud proof. Ah. Uh, What's the fraud proof technology? Yeah. See, this it's is... probably something like in the paper. We should yeah. probably uh, not discuss that on this podcast or yeah. we will be shut down. Yeah. You know, so I, leaking so I, government secrets. On so I, I wish a up. motherfucker yeah. would yeah. shut us down. Yeah, we're tired. <laughs> <laughs> I could be in Pilates right now, but I'm here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get back on the bus? Like I how, did, how was this result? Wait, and were they holding your papers as yeah, they were, they that were, would be so scary to me if they, they were, were holding, holding my papers yeah. and telling you they were fake. Yeah, Ooh. and I and I was like, uh, I mean, it got it was like twenty minutes, just like of us just going back and forth, and me being like, mm-hmm. those are not fake. And then uh, they were like, yeah, we just uh, made a phone call and checked, and you have no records here. And I was like, this that is, is bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, I was like, you that did is not. Bullshit. Yeah, I got to the point because they you? were like trying to break me, and uh-huh. just like trying to make me do something. Because one of them started yelling at me to take my hands out of my pockets. Oh god! And I did that, and I was like, I, it, was, it was like freezing cold there. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I put them out. 
And then I did that thing where I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I was like, I was like, hey, I think this is like what you're doing. And I was like, illegal. Like, I don't think you should be doing that. Also, I need my papers back, or I'm gonna call my lawyer. And I'm like, I'm gonna like take legal action and stuff. And then uh, they were like, just, just like didn't like reply to me. They like started talking to one another, and they were like, gave me my papers, and they're like, next time have your papers on you. I'm like, what does that what? even mean? Like I had you my had papers. your papers <laughs> exactly. What yeah. the hell? So they were basically just harassing you. Yeah, they were just they harassing could. me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and they're used to people like who are like. Like, because the Greyhound bus is, like, very cheap, and most people who take it are, like, immigrants or, like, people, like, of color, like, who are, like, like obviously, like... Not as well off. Gentrified. Yeah. 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 And or white felons. Exactly. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> felons. Yeah. People without, like, luggage or anything, yeah. they just have a piece of paper in their hand. Yeah. I yeah. learned that. Yeah, and a lot of people can't speak English well, too, because yeah. that's what they do is just verbally harass you, and, like, and that's why they were, like, really frustrated with me, like, bringing up my lawyer and shit, and they yeah. were, like... Because they, they were like, like look at this fancy because, immigrant. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. like, um, does your father own this bus? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad is gray. <laughs> you know. But you yeah. you tweeted the whole story and it went viral and yeah. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez we retweeted it. Yeah. And it was really awesome because you got your story out there. Absolutely. Yeah, and I get like so many calls like from the ACLU. Do you want to represent me now? Like in a uh, uh, in a in a case against like uh, yeah. uh, against Greyhound or Border Patrol? Well, yeah. like they already have a case against Greyhound because okay. uh, Greyhound is not so they can legally ask ICE and uh, CBB which is like Border Patrol not to enter the bus but they're letting, they let it so happen. they're complicit yeah. 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 yeah 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 are you on Megabus now I was telling you you should be a spokesperson for Megabus right <laughs> <You're there. laughs> oh, that'd be a great gig got it uh, no I'm I'm definitely not gonna be using buses anymore like in uh, going through like this post yeah, yeah you know what insane. like 15 years ago my um, a second cousin came to the US for a wedding and she Wrote a Greyhound, and this is her first day in the U.S. She's already scared because she thinks mm. it's the Wild West out here. And someone pulled a gun oh, on everyone shit. in the bus. Oh my god! Jesus. Yeah, and they had to call the cops, and it was it was a yeah. mess. She no, was terrified. I don't, scary. They, yeah. wasn't there an incident with this man who would like shot somebody's head? It was, that was in Canada, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was this dude who was like obviously mentally unstable, and he started stabbing the guy next to him. Yep. And then and and, and, and that guy protected everybody else on the bus and like died in the process. See, Canadians where, are nice. Where was he? And I trying to hold you up, huh? It would have helped you out. No one on the bus said shit. They said Fuck those. nothing. Wow. Even when I came back, no one said anything back to me. They're, the only thing they were like, they were like relieved that finally the bus is uh, moving because yeah. I inconvenienced them with but my like, yeah. <laughs> existence. And no one yeah. else but, was but, mad but, at Border but, Patrol for. But at the same nothing. time, yeah. What would like, they say? What would they say? Like if I saw that, I don't know what your guns? situation is. You know, like I don't know if uh, yeah. I don't know if this was illegal. I don't know if you're yeah. illegal. They, they, I, I, I feel, feel like, like, I feel like 100% yeah. I would we pull the phone out. Up. Every time I see like a p yeah. person of color, I, I literally like have my phone out. Like oh, yeah, if I see police stop, I like have my phone out. But also, because you were asking what they should be doing. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying they have to do any, anything yeah. except on the internet like when I posted it like at least 300 people were like if I was this on was the lie. bus, I would have said this and that. I'm like, yeah, yeah there were people on the bus. Is but it's easy to say that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, you've yeah. Ever you know, been in the a, moment, you're having like, a whole, you're you, in the experience, yeah, you're been, having an emotional yeah. reaction. Like you've yeah, been at a exactly. caribou and somebody has like a, like as an asshole and you're just like, ah, I don't want to be involved in this. You don't want those also, problems. You don't know what the fuck is yeah. going on. It's like, oh, it's not my business. But knowing the story, yeah, that's very fucked up. Yeah. And why should people have to walk around with papers? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's funny because like they, uh, <laughs> no, they released a statement where they were like, we asked everyone. Everyone, uh, no, on the bus. But I you mean, were trying to free the nipple. You had to walk around with what papers. A, uh, like, what is? <laughs> how crazy would it be if the, like somebody recognized you from Apex that time? <laughs> I'm like, wait, Absolutely. this guy has a good set. Absolutely on Apex. not. Yeah, bro, I should've, I should've take, been, I'm take, verified. Take, mm. Bro, take, take him. I saw me. him bomb once. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the funny thing because I bombed my set at Pullman. Like, uh, like of course, that night. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah. after or before? Before. Before. I was like, is that why they're taking me off the bus? Sir, you're not. Allowed to be a comedian anymore. We're reserving that for American citizens. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they, they confused the bombs. Yo, and this was a problem. Exactly. Yeah. This is just another reason why immigrants have to work harder at everything, so we don't get kicked out. I like how like that white passing wild. immigrants have to start flying, and brown immigrants have to start taking the bus. Like this is. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have to switch it up. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Have yeah. you had the bus? Is awful. I'll never take a bus bad. again. Okay. So have that you was, had? Have oh sorry. Go that ahead. was Spokane, Washington. Yes. You had that experience. Yeah. 
yeah, riding yeah. Greyhound. Mm. Yeah. Have you had similar experiences yeah. in no, Minneapolis? I, no, I'm a citizen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for throwing uh, yeah, that out yeah. there. Uh, no, I don't like. Well, no. what is your status? I've only Can taken... we ask your what is your status? Well, I are uh, you single? No. Is <laughs> <laughs> are you single in American? Are you? What single is your in... alien number? Are you... <laughs> oh yes, yeah, right. four, five, six. Like... <laughs> are you ever fifty one? <laughs> Or, I'm getting uh, my green card in October. I'm like, I applied for a political asylum and I got that approved. And uh, obviously, that's they said they had no records of that, which is like, whatever. But yeah. That's I feel like they just didn't want to read. Papers. Um, no, <laughs> that's you, just bullshit. Not, you also, yeah. you one of your tweets, uh, which I thought was like funny and great, uh, which a lot of your tweets are, you were like, I've survived all of these things, like everything in, from back home, yeah. you, like listed out everything. And I was like, and he's like, and you said like, this wouldn't break you. And I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah, I was getting a lot of like hate mail and stuff. Yeah. And like people just send me like vile shit. <laughs> what? Um, this is what I understand. Like what about that experience? Uh, he's a celebrity. He's going to have hate haters. No, like they, what, did, yeah. what did you like? And we, like you complied, right? You yes. showed them your papers. And I had my papers. You yeah. did everything you had to do. And when they were harassing you, you're like, "All right, well, if this is going to go further, I'm going to call my lawyer." So exactly. you did everything yes. that you were supposed to do. Yes. So uh, why why the hate? They said that you shouldn't complain. You should just be grateful that you you're here yeah. because if you were back home, you probably would have killed you or something. And I was like, uh, "Is that your standards yeah. comparing uh, comparing the U.S. to a war torn country?" Yeah. Of course, I know. That's yeah. why I'm yeah. here. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, also, like. That is such, that is like the privilege of like Absolutely. immigrants. Well, that's what Hassan was talking about, right? Immigrants yeah. are supposed to feel grateful for just like surviving in this Absolutely. country and have no standards compared right. to the people who yeah. were born here. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, yeah. it's just like uh, the other thing they were like, oh, this story is fake. Mm. You made this whole thing up. And then uh, Border Patrol like released a statement. I was like, oh, yeah, this happened. At least and they did that. Of, well, at least yeah. they, they confirmed. Like, yeah, they confirmed. And because they confirmed, they were like, yeah, we did all of that and we're defending it. We're defending the agents. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. They didn't get in trouble, man. Yeah, that's like the, that? the they, Trump they, thing. They didn't get in trouble. They they, they have no consequences. That's what. Question. That's why that. What was the motivation yeah. like cops. For, yeah, yeah. for them to even come after you? No, they came in. They asked what four was the people. Suspicion? They were, no, they, they were asked four, four people. people. Yeah. And. Four people were randomly selected. Randomly selected. <laughs> Everyone looked like they might be like Middle Hispanic Eastern or, or something. Hispanic. Yeah, because yeah. you kind of okay. look like they, they can mistake you for like. Yeah, like yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, all of us have gotten Hispanic at some yeah, point. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, for sure. And they asked those people, and uh, the proof of citizenship they were asking for was a U.S. passport. Mm. Mm. So that's why I'm like, how could have you asked everyone on the bus, and everyone on the bus had their passport on them? That's impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because you're not, you don't have to travel from state to state state with a passport. passport yeah, yeah. yeah. that hasn't um that hasn't been like uh it, it is a law that's going to go into effect at some point yeah. you either need like a like a federal id as a yeah. driver's license and they have like logos for that yeah or you need your passport but that's absolutely, not going yeah. into effect for for like a couple of years we still got time so absolutely, for them to yeah. do that to everybody on a bus like <clears throat> that's a lot of bullshit yeah like even like, like and you do have a case against them yeah you, exactly but also know? like i'm not a citizen i'm just like imagining like if you are like a citizen and they're like how do you prove it? Like, how do you prove that you're like a citizen? Like, if you don't have your passport on you, I'm like, yeah, I was like born here and stuff. I'm a citizen. Like, how we're do supposed you... to wear a collar or something. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you what, how a, do I prove it? Get a chip. I'll tell you how you do it. You we're, get gonna, a, we're moving to chip <laughs> technology. You, you That's a, where we're going. Mahenda, do you get a mega tattoo? Yeah, mega Absolutely. Hat. If I was wearing a MAGA hat, <laughs> MAGA, nothing would have been. No, MAGA tattoo is just right here. Just get a MAGA hat. Honestly, get a MAGA hat. And so if you're ever on a bus, just wear it and you won't get harassed. Well, then you'll get harassed by liberals. No, but at least. Liberals are not going to deport you. you know what liberals I mean? liberals yeah. are not going to like. I don't think they're going to violently or try to harass you. I think they're just going to leave you alone. And that's why we lose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Liberals will assume you make good music. Okay. No, but this is when you do it. Like when you see them right, like getting on the bus, you're like, whoop. Here's yeah, you switch, out, you switch out your blue hat for exactly. your... Exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then you just point at another immigrant and be like, you like, better look at that. Well, everything's so charged. Like, you become a target if you put on either one of those hats, you yeah. know? It's crazy. Yeah. Like, honestly, I would rather be left alone. So if the MAGA hat can, like, prove yeah. that I'll be left alone and it's, like, a way of, you know, like, securing my safety... Like in this political climate, <laughs> but I think, okay. I think that okay. might that Just, might work, but you have to steal the MAGA hat from a Trump supporter so you don't pay for it. Of That's course, yeah. I don't you think can, I you pay can. For you it. can buy them on Walmart. No, you don't want to give them money. 
<laughs> you gotta no, steal there, it. There's plenty of them lying around. I yeah. bet you if you go to Goodwill, you'll probably find yeah, a few. Yeah, if you look through the yeah. trash or something. I mean, something. Every, everyone's, you can, you everyone's, on this cone, everyone's on this like Cone Marie tidying up thing. Like you, <laughs> you're gonna find MAGA hats neatly for folded. Does a spark show you? <laughs> That's, yeah, it's just from like supporters who repented. It's yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I want to. I do want to see an episode of that where they're like, I just can't let this go. <laughs> this, <laughs> can't this throw this away. Sparks so much joy. Um, all right, so. Yeah, do you, Ali, do you have like a similar story or any crazy experiences? Like, nah, I think, I mean, like that, this is like a new, uh, maybe a newish thing where they're yeah. doing it at, at that level. Like I took yeah. a Greyhound once to Canada and it was fine. I had to deal with it. How long, did it <laughs> how long did it take you? Three weeks? Uh, it took a long time, like two days. It man. takes so long. Greyhound, they, where, where, why did they take no, so it was long? Like 30 hours. Because it's a lot. Like you had to go from Minnesota all the way to Buffalo, New York. And then and there's, it's the most inefficient. Then, it was, it's the worst thing. And, yeah. I, and then and you it's were not sitting, cheap. No, not cheap. And it was, I did it because I wasn't a citizen yet. Yeah, and I didn't have the passport, and I want to risk going like flying, so I just did it through yeah. the border because you can just do your ID. Uh, and I just remember like being with like felons and stuff like that. One of them like fell asleep on me, and he was, oh, that's cute. And he was Aww. drooling, and I was like, I'm not gonna say shit. That's initiation. Like, You're in the gang now. <laughs> Which bus line? <laughs> yeah, the ba- the worst part is like on the oh, on my third. This is Greyhound, right? On my yeah, on my third trip, I, I had a girlfriend in Canada. On the way back, I got dumped on the way. She texted me on the way back. Really? I was like, I got dumped, and then I had 30 hours. Of oh, <laughs> Yo, but to uh, be fair, this was is what so I was, cruel. I was gonna say so earlier: cruel. when people are in trouble on a bus, no one pays attention. So yeah. like that's why they <laughs> didn't reach out. And you yeah. can cry on a bus; yeah. it's great. I love it. I get <laughs> less you're bothered pregnant. crying on a bus than I do at home. It's amazing. Well, that's why no one stopped ice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, they they might have not even seen them. Yeah, they. I mean, it was just like it was one of those. I was just happy to be back on the bus. Yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, which is saying a lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that smelly bus. It smells so bad. It was just, honestly it was worse than the experience with. with the, <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness. So no one's flying buses ever again. I, or I'm, I'm flying. flying. I'm, I'm, I'm taking, taking a bus. Yeah, I was taking ever a bus. again. I'm sorry. No one's taking a bus ever. First again. of all, yeah. bitch, I take buses <laughs> after, every day. <laughs> after seeing how many followers we got on Twitter, I know. I was like, I literally, booked, I booked 18 Greyhounds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. It's the how, new Conan. He, he got like you got how like 20,000 followers. How much did that help your Twitter following? I've, oh, 22k. Gained, <laughs> I've gained 18,000 followers. 18. But also, one of your tweets went viral with like five, like half a million. But that's before the thing. That was before the thing. But you didn't get any followers for that. Yeah, my my. Yeah, uh, the the Uber tweet. Yeah, which what, is so funny. What's your Uber tweet? It's uh, you have to. I mean, you it's have like to look it's it up. like Uber driver oh, says man. nothing. I say nothing. Uber driver says nothing. I say five stars. Like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is so it's like silence, very silence, funny. silence. Yeah. Five stars. Is it worth half a million? I'm, I'm it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but what's funny to me is that like, like, why does it take? Why can't they appreciate our jokes? It takes like drama for but them you know, to follow. You know what's us. funny though? Like every vital tweet I had had to do with transportation. That's, that's so my, that's funny. my bread. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. that. You're that guy. You're the new airplane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. Wait, this got half a million. Yeah. yeah. Uber driver. Dot dot dot. Me. Dot dot dot. You Uber said, driver, dot, Did you notice how she said that with doubt? She's like, this. No. No. This is every comic's mentality. What? You're too. Okay. Fuck you. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, you're hilarious. I'm not like. I mean, Twitter. Twitter. I, f- I feel like Twitter is somewhat separate from yeah. like and, who and, you and are. To be as fair, d- to be fair, that joke is better on stage. Yeah. <laughs> I would never do it. That's ridiculous. Actually, yeah. I, I'm like thinking about it. I think it would be like, Uber nice. driver. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> I just, I'm just gonna print out my tweets and no, like, honestly, and care, though, and like, them. did you? I mean, when you did that, were you like, oh, this is gonna get like no, half abso- a million? No, absolutely. Like, when you got when you got to 300k, you're like, this is bullshit. Yeah. 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 Half. See, see, you the know, thing is, like, do you have like, merch yet? Is that the, a t-shirt? The reason this please went make viral, that a t-shirt. The reason it went viral, like. Everyone can agree on that. It's not yeah, that's people's wrong. hatred that's of Uber drivers also, talking. Yes. Also, yeah. like very international now. Yeah, like it is as that's international true. as Uber. Yeah. Did you think that your ice story would go viral? Yeah. No, no, that one I was like, like I was like, oh, I have like followers that I'm like, uh, like have like big numbers, like who follow them and stuff. I'm, and honestly, like one reason I tweeted, I was like so angry. Yeah. I just wanted to. I could feel somewhere. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. So I did that, and then it just like it like started like. Getting like a hundred, two hundred, and then I'm like, <laughs> "Oh my god, what's happening here?" Just like blowing yeah. up, and then I started like getting phone calls. Did like you from- hashtag somebody? 
No, no he literally he, just told the story told in a story. thread, and oh, I could wow. feel your anger. You were yeah, like, yeah. I need to tell you guys what happened too. to me. Exactly. And it, yeah. yeah. And then it felt violated. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then I started getting call, phone calls from like like uh, like news agencies and stuff like that. Uh, like I'm like, is this a good time for an interview? I'm like, I'm still on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you tweeted this while you're, you're on the like, bus. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Oh, you had a lot of time, huh? It has six hours yeah. to go. And by the time I was home, it was it's just like... Story dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you, um, did did you they... get any pussy from this? Uh, my, yeah, my girlfriend, girlfriend who was... Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> you got some Yay. white girl pussy. She was on the bus white with you? Pussy. No, she she, oh, she, she going to marry you, no, get she, you that green card? <laughs> Are you, I just are you couldn't dating, lose you. Are you dating a white girl? Yeah. Was there was that like white guilt p- pussy that you got afterward? You think was she trying to like make it up for every every way that you? I were think wronged? it's because she hasn't seen me in three days. Oh, that could have been it. Yeah. Too. It's the smell of she the just... boss. She's like, ooh, sexy, <laughs> sexy. She's like these cold, cold hands. <laughs> oh yeah. man. Um, okay, so you're actually like okay. One, you're hilarious. Thank um, you. But you're also on uh, Conan's list of comics to watch. Yeah. 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 Well. Yeah, because I yeah I did I did comics to watch. <laughs> Ali, yeah. what the fuck you got? Tell us your Nothing, resume, yeah. bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm the hype man from Hamden. Okay, That's no, but I, Ali, yeah. Ali's got was, a Comedy Central special. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold Thanks. on, you were in Heart of the City, right? I was. Yeah. That's a Kevin Hart's project. Yeah, but it's not about me right now. It's about Hamden, and I. All right, it's all about right. both Stay of you. Focus. No, I'm trying Here, to. Here's my thing. I kind of impose myself on this. Let me say something. This guy, this guy recently had a comedy special in Dubai. Oh, excuse me. Tell us more. Tell us. More about Dubai. <laughs> you guys yeah. are each other's hype man. Yeah. So now it's in a flip. You guys wait, That's haggle fun. your your management yeah. fees for each other right now. <laughs> uh, dude, I, what, uh, is it what is it going to take? Ice for me to be uh, if I can pay attention to yeah. this podcast? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we actually have... and that's why we brought them here tonight. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, that'd, be, that'd be so funny. In? No. That'd be the greatest. No, no, thank you for having me. I know this was like initially his no, thingy. No, no, we I wanted, appreciate no. to be part of this. You guys are wonderful. Thank Listen, you. Well, we man. we're just happy to have you both thank on. You. Once we yeah. saw you were funny on stage, we were like, all right. Uh, yeah. Is like, it yeah. like is it a cool. funny when you have someone on your show and uh sure? And then they go, oh, oh thank God. Well, here's the, you never nice. recommended, though. You were recommended, but also you never know with referrals yeah, never, from, yeah, from yeah. comics yeah. out of town, you know? Because you know, she didn't say anything. She was she just like, so like, I know so these so guys. So. And I'm like, but are they funny? She's like, yeah. I'm I vouched like, for Mohanad. Sure? Yeah. I was like, I know him if it's the right Mohanad. <laughs> I said that like three times. I'm like, that didn't get a last name. But if it's that one, it's, yeah. it's fine. I only it's know one Mohanad, and that's you. I have like this. Oh, yeah. Well, I just knew that someone on your status about you like post like people mistaking you for Muhammad yeah. was also a Muhammad and I was like I don't know if that's a comic or not yeah. you know <laughs> I mean, you, yeah you know who doesn't know Muhammad uh, is Paul, Paul the guy who hosted our show last yeah. night who <laughs> did the wrong introduction <laughs> really? I was like can we go for Muhammad twice and then it took like uh, an hour later for him to realize yeah Paul Elia hosted but it's, yeah it's an honest mistake because if you like yesterday. used to read in Muhammad all the time yeah no you, yeah. Ab- ab- you ab- assume the M you absolutely. assume absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's I one mean, of the most common names um, but is Muhammad common no the thing is, like in Arabic, like when you pronounce Muhammad, uh, like Muhammad, and Muhammad, it's complete. Like it's the, like, like Muhammad, Muhammad. Exactly. So yeah. Different, yeah right? it's Muhammad, Muhammad. So it's like different. Yeah. Like in like as an Arabic speaker, like yeah. you can like would never mistake yeah. those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But like in English, they just sound, yeah. like look similar. Interesting. Yeah. Got it. Okay, back to you now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so all right. you have Comedy Central. So, uh, what like what? Tell us about your special. Uh, it's I don't know. Do your why. special. Do do the do the half hour. Do the half hour right now. What else? How was the Dubai crowd? It was was so they were so savvy. Were they? Are they? They like they got all the American like cultural. They picked up on all of all of it. It's like one of the most diverse places. It is the it's the weirdest place, right? It is, but it has like a huge like multicultural expat population. Yeah, so it's like different cultures. Yeah, yeah. It's like a clean New York. You go in there, there's a lot of diversity. But it's even more than that because you will see women in like full like burqa everything, and then you'll see. Really like, see them that many of them. Oh, really? I no. go there a lot. Yeah, what I were you saying? You? Okay. What were you about to say? Uh, this is an interesting place for comedy because it's like in the 80s there. You know, like they, they have demand for it, but yeah. very little supply. There's no open mics and shit like that. Uh, and then like the crowds, you know, a thousand people showed up. To yeah. This nice theater. And then like they were really excited to be there. Did you have uh, to do clean? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. But like you know, it's because it's Dubai. It's like, we're free. You can say anything you want except for uh, drugs, uh, the government and <laughs> and religion. Like, you know, like they, Which government? Just any? Like theirs. Okay. Their it's government. It's like, don't, don't talk about Yemen. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm from there. That's going to be tough. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Because okay. they're involved in the... Um, uh, excuse me. Can you like now mention that we're bombing you? Yeah. Okay. Can you please... Uh, 
can you be polite as our guest? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's a little unpleasant. We, we don't should be know. grateful that we have you here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So no rated R material. Could you talk about yeah. ankles, women's ankles? Was that allowed, or that's not uh, allowed I, either? No, I've seen like somebody was, t- <laughs> some, Dick someone, was someone was doing like sex jokes. I'm, oh, someone was. So, like it was. Yeah, you can get away with that more so than like politics and yeah. some okay. yeah. things that matter. Yeah, we heard but in it India, cool. it's religion also yeah. is a like a hot button topic. Politics. You want to? But it's cool. Like you know how like comics pretend to be like edgy here and like be like oh well, I'm gonna fucking say something. like no, you're not doing shit but like their accounts if you talk about religion and if you talk about like uh, oh there's actual consequences for being edgy yeah. Yeah, yeah, here so people, much weight people there it. just disappear like yeah, people yeah, exactly. will be disappeared into yeah. the desert yeah. and they're like a lot of the workers their passports are given to their employers as uh, part uh, of their yeah. contract I'm, I'm, uh, and my contract I can't talk about that <laughs> I just signed a contract I can't when I went to Saudi oh, Arabia okay. I had to give my passport to the yeah. government that's so scary Did yeah that's scary so wait the whole time you were there yeah they held on to your passport and you get it back at the end it's very wild Saudi Arabia is the only country like I refuse to go to. Yeah, I don't Unless think I want to. the money is good. What about North yeah. Korea? Oh, You're fine I would there. <laughs> never go to Saudi Arabia. Like, yeah. absolutely. I, I have no but, intent but, but, of going a, there. Either. Okay, half a mil. No, I wouldn't go like for half a mil. Because, half like, a million never, retweets? But, would you go there? Because <laughs> you never, for half like, a mil retweets, I would go. Promise, That's okay. not was just it worth it? Was it worth it? They promised you. Was the ice you, thing worth it? What's that? Was the ice thing worth it? Was it I mean, worth it for the Twitter follower? Oh hell yeah, it was. <laughs> Quest Love <laughs> follows <laughs> me. So yeah, I'll yeah, take it. I think yeah. it's worth it. Shout oh, out to Quest okay. Love. Retweet hold this. Hold on. Okay, so you were gonna say, hold on. Quest Love is my new Facebook friend. Okay, so whatever. But you still win because you got more. No, dollars. what I was gonna say though, like even <laughs> like let's say they offered you two million dollars to go to Saudi. I'll like, go. Do you are you guaranteed that you're gonna leave though? That's the, my my whole yeah. thing. Because yeah. I have people disappear yes. in like embassies. I would yeah. I would put that on yeah. the contract. Not if, if you haven't said anything like that's against them, you should be fine. But, what's, but that's also, why I didn't post you, that video. If you're a what's target, if but you're also, a target. But also people like it's like entrapment too. Like they'll like people in those countries like will frame you. North Korea does that shit all the time. They yeah. frame so many like Americans. Well, that's the thing. If you're a target, you're not safe regardless. Well, they can come here's, up with the, any here's how it is with, with comedy because comedy is getting popular there and what these people do is, is like yeah, there a are royalty com- it's like uh, it's kind of like oh I'm going to bring Russell Male Peters comics. and yeah. he's going to perform in my room and then it's like a, a status symbol yeah I mean that's a well, common royal, thing here too so the royal scary, family though. enjoys all of the luxuries and entertainment that yeah. the ma- the main population does not oh absolutely yeah, 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 it's, exactly. a, yeah it's a status thing So yeah I, but I, even I, when the Saudi like even when royalty comes here and the men I'm talking about the men yeah when the Saudi princes come here like they have they have houses here in Beverly Hills, and yeah. like they they yeah. get male comics to perform. perform well, there's for so them many the of time. them. Oh yeah. yeah, Paul does. Paul have we a story. We probably all went to college. Paul, with Paul them. Elia has a has story. a story. It's there's so a, funny. To there, me. There's there's a few comics out yeah. here that have like a yeah. performing for the Sally Prince kind of story. Yeah, uh, yeah. So they, I mean, it's it's popular. Yeah. I wonder if they you like know? performed also for like Rihanna and Janet Jackson. Like <laughs> they like yeah. had all these Saudi. Yeah, <laughs> they were there already. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure you got to sign an NDA when you go in there and all of that too. Yeah. But get free on the but, way but the ice story. Don't say anything or we'll kill you. Is would that the you, NDA? Would you, probably. Yeah. Would you do it again? Would, would I do it again? Would you do it again I would for the Twitter follow? I would definitely make the story up again. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. It, okay, so if you had to relive it again, what would you change? Oh, uh, I would just like not even step outside of the bus. You refuse? Really? Yeah. Yeah, because like once I like once I got on the bus and I started like reading more and more and more because like here's, here's what my worry was. Oh, yeah. Can you give a, a, advice to people? No, seriously, yeah. because I got back on the bus and then I was like, oh, shit, we have like two other stops before we get to Portland. What if they <laughs> what if they come back again? Yeah. Like I so I like spent like two hours just like reading like immigration laws and stuff like that. And you can straight up be like. Like when they ask you, are you a citizen? I'm like, I don't have to answer you. Like, do you have uh, a you warrant? Refi- you yeah. like, you complete the fifth. So you weren't aware yeah. of your rights. Or like for like actually like the Fourth Amendment. You're like Fourth Amendment like is like you can't ask me that. Like you like I'm protected, and you shouldn't be like even. I'm like I'm not gonna tell you. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I'm, I don't. Like, wow. Like uh, give me yeah. my your papers. I'm not gonna yeah, give you my well, papers. Like, but it's just like who, rules are, uh, are who's prepared for, for, for the whites, not for you. Well, well <laughs> yeah, I think at that trunk. point, do they have? Are they armed? But here's the thing, because I like I uh, like because the story I read before where uh, it, this happened before, and this uh, this African American lady, uh, like she knows so much about the laws and stuff, and she was like, she started yelling at them, like this is your Fourth Amendment, like don't give them your papers. Oh paper, yeah, I saw that too. And they stepped out because they can't because they can't, they shouldn't be on there without but a warrant. But they count. On people not knowing their rights, yeah. and most people do not Absolutely. expect to be in that situation because it's a fucked up situation. Absolutely, because once you give your papers, then 
it's on you. You, yeah. you uh, yeah, yeah. Your cooperation is your mistake. Yeah, yeah. Are they are they armed? These people? They are. Yes. That's, that's the scariest that's, part. Well, that's why I took my hands out of my pockets because I'm like I've watched enough documentaries yeah. to know that you're gonna shoot me. We've for, seen enough viral videos exactly. about that. Yeah. So, so your advice is so if is it just like if you're on a bus? Like, what if you're if you're crossing any border, if they're asking to see your papers, well, that's different. If you're cross, if you're actually crossing a border, then yes. yes. If you're yeah. within state lines, yeah, because no one is allowed to yeah. ask you Absolutely. if you're a citizen or to show papers. No or one should ask you if you're within if the you're country. A citizen. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. That shouldn't Not just happen. crossing state yes. lines. So you legit have a case against them. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they shouldn't. They shouldn't have asked. But also, like my my case is not. It's not just them asking me. Is the fact it's that they <laughs> is the fact that they denied my papers were legal and they refused to check. And then when they released a statement, they were like, oh, no, we checked and his he is in the records. I'm like, you told me I wasn't in the records. Yeah, you can't change they were your story harassing now. you. They yeah, were lying exactly. and harassing you. Yeah. Wow. So how long do these cases usually take? They're, are they drawn out? They take they take some time, but it's not about like I mean it's not about like winning or like not winning yeah. the case. It's more about like public opinion, like yeah. publicizing the story, like this is what we're doing. Yeah. So that makes them like, oh, we don't want to have to deal with that again. So they would tone it down. So this, it's about like them being like, yeah. so you're being held accountable, if not by the government, it's by the media and like people opinions and stuff. So yeah, because like these like agents, like like they know that there's like no consequences for the, what they're doing, even if they're not doing their job right. No one's gonna act like there's like nothing is gonna happen to them. So whatever, you know. So that's what the whole like case is about. Like, because once they like the case starts, they're gonna like publicize. Like, they, we're like we're doing we're having a case against them, mm -hmm. so like people would know more. I'm like, oh, what my rights are. Like, and like uh, one good thing about it, like Greyhound, like one like uh, called me too, and they were like, now we're gonna start like uh, they're gonna like start putting uh, air fresheners up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but also part of the deal is now they're gonna like put like flyers and like Greyhound stations that like have your like rice or oh, what to call both oh, in Spanish good. and nice. English. That's nice. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. You, you, I think you have a settlement waiting for you. Yeah, well, I don't know if Greyhound <laughs> has any money to give you. I, like, I have. Money. I feel like if you took one shot, you would have been good for life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had to take your hands you out of your pocket you, like an idiot. You know, if you had just taken a punch to the face, so I think just keep your hands in the pocket. Oh, absolutely. Roll the dice. Extra zero. Zeros oh to that God. three. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm glad you're safe. Thank you. I'm glad Thank you got you. a huge Twitter following. Yeah. Out of yeah. It. And yeah. Uh, yeah. how many days? How I'm many days? I'm glad it was worth it. it. Was that? I'm glad it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how many? Because uh, I know you were like overwhelmed. You were like, okay, I'm not going to talk about it again. And then you talk about it a little bit, and you're like, okay, I'm done. Like cause yeah. people kept asking you questions. How many days till your phone stopped like exploding? <laughs> it took a week. Cause, yeah. Like because I was getting like emails and like just like my phone was like ringing and stuff like that and. At, at first, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to give an interview. I'm going to tell you what happened, all of that. But then it got to the point where, like, I'm, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like, yeah. stop calling me. Like, like every time you look at your phone, you're like, did they? are they trying to book me for a show? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, the other reason I stopped, like, giving interviews, they uh, they started, like, doing the thing where, like, they used my words against me. Oh, like, somehow. Yeah. Oh, shit. One of the things that they did, which is, like, one of the most fucked up things ever, like, they took part of my, like, they found... This is why I took all of my videos, like, uh, they were, like, online. I put everything on private. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, they, that's why. I was like, this is the first comic I've seen in, like, years that's still on private. They started, like, using my material in, like, that's in bed. And they talked about al Yeah. They, yeah so they right took here. a joke where I'm, like, I'm talking about, like, when I did my immigration case. And I was, like, uh, <laughs> so I was talking. I was, like, oh, yeah, I come from, like, uh, a country that's predominantly Muslim country. And when I answer questions, I have to disassociate myself from that as much as possible. So I do the thing where I like uh, lie. That's the <laughs> like that's the joke, and it's a part of like a longer, yeah. uh, longer like. Yeah. And they cut that part, put it with the article, and just put Shut it out up. there. Shut up! This yeah. is liar. This, I, that's knew so I knew up. it. I knew it. I I hate when people do this, and it's like it's it is this climate, right? Like yeah. where where people are taking Take chunks out of context, of, take, yeah. and we're comedians. We're gonna yeah. say things yeah. like that out, aren't true. Oh, yeah. like, they're gonna oh, be horrible out of context. Yeah. Here's what I hated. They're the gonna most. be horrible in context. Yeah, what's even worse than that is like when he would like respond to someone, like you know, somebody would be an ass, and I'm like, fuck you, and then go, you showed your true colors. Oh now you 
you, you deserve to be uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. have not Absolutely. rights. Yeah, I was on like, your side. I'm like, you can no, be an asshole not. and have rights. Don't matter. Yeah, yeah, there's so right. many exactly. assholes. Tommy Laren. And oh. he wasn't even a man an asshole. He was upset <laughs> exactly. at the situation. So, yeah, I'm the one who gets like, I'm get detained and then I have to be nice yeah. to everyone who's telling me that I'm a liar. That's like, the, yeah. that's the yeah. being that's grateful They want us to be like, be polite. Be grateful you're not in Benghazi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's so funny to me. So what are the things, if someone in that situation, um, what would you tell them they should know? Like, I mean, honestly, the fourth amendment, right? Yes. Also at this climate, honestly, if you have your, like, if you have any kind of papers, just it's inconvenient, but like, just bring everything, no matter what it is. But you don't have to give it to them if you're traveling with you. You don't the US. have to give it to them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You you shouldn't have like you shouldn't have to give it to them. You shouldn't have to prove that you're a citizen because even if you are like, like, why are you gonna carry your passport on you all the time? Like, how yeah. how do you prove it? Yeah. Like like. Just because, my my laid back attitude. Yeah. That's how I prove. <laughs> That's I just I, I can't believe I still can't believe within state lines they like harass you like that. That yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well. But on um, behalf of yeah. citizens, we're so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> on behalf of Americans, you yeah. know, I I'm well, sorry. We you're did just that. as American. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're all into you, like. By this what together, standards? So. Yeah. By the fact that he like lives here yeah. and he's part of our like society yeah. and he's a stand up comedian that's doing better than me in yeah. America. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> He's a Middle East. He's a brown guy in America dating a yeah. white girl. Basically, like everyone. He's basically, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Can I ask you You're that? living the dream. Can I ask you guys a question? So American. God bless America. I've always like. I feel like resentment when brown women talk about white girls. What's going, what's going on there? Um. Oh, like oh, well, there's. There's always like a weird. Can we, can uh, brown we, women always have like weird. It's like like how black chicks don't like uh, black dudes to date white women. I feel like that's also like uh, we get judged for that. I think growing up, uh, I, I think it's white was, people. Yeah. No, I think. Oh, they were okay, just, and then white women are whole, you know, there's a yeah, whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also, they're like, I mean, it's, it's the same season. thing, the privilege that we've all experienced, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, if you're talking about like an added layer, um, I w felt really bad about my appearance growing up because I was surrounded by white women okay. and mm -hmm. that were like thought to be more beautiful and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, it was racism. Like it was yeah. just people. Yeah. And yeah. so guys would make comparisons and then that like festers and over time. Mm -hmm. And also like, the white like white women would like take advantage of those comparisons and like feel better or feel more entitled to things Absolutely, which is yeah. we all it's the minority that. experience yeah. so yeah. i was yeah. around a lot also, i was a brown like, woman yeah. amongst a lot of white women yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's so that's a, it's, also, it's the experience another, I'm, not, I'm, yeah. I'm not judging i'm just curious yeah, another just, thing like yeah. i hear sometimes like from like people of color like like men and stuff they would like straight up be like oh i don't date that, that woman like like yeah. I don't yeah. date like uh, black women I don't date like brown yeah. like, I don't date women from my race because they, they're this and that I just think it's interesting that people have too. a type because yeah. I don't so, I don't have a type I, I kind of grew know. up I grew up yeah. kind of hearing this like oh I don't I don't I don't date other Pakistani girls I don't yeah. I don't date Desi yes. girls I only date Puerto Ricans yeah. and white girls and, and this and that and I'm like more specific what? as you get like, and I'm just like some people want limitation yeah that's fine but it's like don't put down an entire ethnicity of women because because you're like but you're it's like weird. They don't, they don't want him either. I'm like they don't want him. Also, but like, but I didn't like, ask yeah, you. Yeah, you don't have to say. <laughs> also, because this is like not saying I have a type. This is like being like I, I would date everyone except. This them. is how yeah, I'm yeah, racist. Yeah. That's what yeah. it's. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. It's just I, information. I also think like also when I was like growing up with that, like there were the comparisons that were made, and every once in a while, like a white guy or even a brown guy would be like, oh, like they're actually hot Indian women, like to my face. <laughs> actually, <laughs> like I saw, whoa, whoa. I actually saw hot Indian women, or like they'll do that. You're yeah. like attractive for your race, That's or they so, won't believe that yeah. I'm just Indian. Like, if I, grew, I, they I, grew think up I am attractive. Watching some Bollywood, I know. That yeah, I've always known. But there's yeah. a word there's though, surprise. Ashwarya Rai was named like the most she's, beautiful woman in yeah. the world for I like mean, ten years straight. Yeah. A but, lot of a then, lot of world beauty uh, yeah. pageants, yeah. like India, India has been in the top ten. You know, like, or who said winner. that? That's just like a weird yeah. thing to say. Also, yeah. it's happened multiple times. Also, this is another thing where like people like feel like if I did a white woman, that would give me a higher status. Status, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like they look. I'm like, oh, if that like the couple I'm in, like people like look high up to yeah. me because I got the approval of a white woman mm -hmm. versus if I'm like someone of my race I'm like yeah of course no, yeah. Like, yeah. that's yeah. the but damage of, of yeah. everything that happened before you yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry yeah. that you were programmed with that also yeah. I'm not yeah. I don't think I'm like uh, I didn't mean it to come off in the delivery that oh mm -hmm. he's just another brown guy I was a white just girl. curious I all. meant it more as like uh, he's assimilated yeah, I mean that yeah, is yeah, like yeah. the epitome of assimilating you're dating you a white so, girl no yeah no I like it because it's like I 
people, like it. We've all dated yeah. white no, people. I, like, I, it's kind of yeah, like I took no offense, so, dude. Saying. Dude, it's, it's, just it's, a, no. it's, <laughs> no, it's it's totally fine. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think you. But don't you bring like that yeah. bitch around here? No, okay. Okay. I'll tell you hey, something. She doesn't like it. Bring her around. White girls are also my demographic. I'll tell you this: the advantage, advantage. You, you, if you're in a, if you're on a greyhound with a white girl, that is your citizenship. You yeah. do not, nobody's always gonna, bring one white girl to cry in front exactly. of the cops. That's what you yeah. always do. Exactly. Always have Did one you? white girl in the group. Yeah, Did you I not see get, get Out? <laughs> the advantage is I look at you and go, oh, this guy's pre, pre-approved. pre-approved. Like, or they get mad. <laughs> like, they get mad. I, it's easier actually to like uh, in, uh, in America, I feel like it's easier to talk about. Okay. Has everybody here dated a white person? Yep. There you go. Yes, you, yeah. mm-hmm. Ali. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, we've all did. we've all have done guys, our part. Have you dated brown people? Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was Absolutely. just gonna tell you yeah. something. Uh, when you're like on a date with a like when you're with your brown person. Your brother. It's easier than it, it is, is when being yeah. like a, with a white person because people like. Oh, look, yeah. People look stare. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? yeah. It sucks. Yeah. So, All right, we, but when they see you with a brown person, they're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Classic. <laughs> okay. Classic. Keep it. They're keep not it brown. disturbing us. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. in movies where they pair off. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. We have to wrap up, I think. We do. Um, so. Oh, having fun. I know. Well, that's good. We, you guys are leaving us wanting more, but you're not leaving yet. You're not done. We're not done. What? We're not done. We have what? a couple yeah. a couple questions. This is right? a weird transition. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's we're go. We're not done. We're not we're not done with you. Um so we <laughs> usually like we ask I think we've kind of uh we ask if people have any questions about our culture or anything, but because you guys are brown, what what is the dumbest thing that people have or like a, you know, things that you get repeatedly asked for being uh in your culture? Like mm. so from being from Libya or being from Yemen, do you get like weird what are the weirdest questions you've ever I think, had I think, to address? Like a lot of it is like has to do with like uh, the women in my family, because uh, like when uh, I, like people like ask me like uh, what does your mom do or something like that, like mm-hmm. anything other than like a housewife is just like oh wow they're surprised right yeah. they're shocked wow that's uh, you must be she's a, a hero <laughs> I'm like yeah that's such a liberal family I'm like and I'm like no actually like a lot of like uh, like Libyan women like yes we still have the mentality of like oh women should stay at home but I'm like we have so many like women who are just like mm-hmm. like in government or like in like uh, you like, know educated dry- hardworking professional yeah, women yeah. <laughs> exactly and I'm like yeah I have a sister she doesn't wear her job she doesn't like she like she and they're like yeah. oh my god blah blah, blah. I'm like, no. yeah, it's just like that thing where, like, I tell them my mom drives a car, and they're like, we thought women can't drive. I'm like, I don't know. Well, that's the information uh, that's fed by the media. And, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, which is are true so, to some parts of the Middle East. You know, if you don't go out of your way to yeah, get absolutely. the information, how would you yeah. know it? True. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 that's my least favorite thing about, like, people, like, assumption about, like, Muslim women and stuff like that. Like, my mom is, like, one of the baddest. What's that sound? It's okay. <laughs> my mom is people. like one of, one of the baddest, baddest people I know. Like she's like she was a nurse by the age of 14, 12, 13. She was like one of the best nurses in Sana Yemen, went to college while uh, being married, divorced, having a kid. She's wow. like she's incredible. She's a strong fucking powerful oh my woman. God. You ha- you and said this hilarious reason- joke last night mm. about your mom. Oh, yeah. okay. she, <laughs> she's been married four times. Four times. She's yeah. not a quitter. Not a quitter. <laughs> yeah. And and you know she used to like feel like embarrassed by, by that thing. And I was like, do you understand? Like, because even women in the Middle East will look down on a divorcee. Yeah. But dude, you are mm-hmm. you you were stuck with an abusive fucking dude look for twenty some years. My mom dropped three of these fuckers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nice. It's like yeah, she's <laughs> great. And and that's why like I like I do a podcast with my mom. See how oh, smooth nice. that is. And, and it's called Stories with My Muslim Mom. Aww. You know, actually. <laughs> I was Look just going to say, can we have your yeah. mom on the podcast? Uh, yeah. she's, she's exclusive. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, oh, no. She's Management not, if, again. If she's ever in LA, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, uh, let's and do it. then the whole idea is to like, to break that search up and yeah. show that yeah. to, she's a woman and she has her own opinions. Yeah, yeah. our moms are multi-dimensional assume, people. Yeah, they assume more like uh, like we're like especially if you're a hijabi that you're like just a, this oppressed, yeah. speechless person. Yeah, but also one thing like I think that's like very like a spe- well, the specific, keywords person. Yeah, yeah. Specific to Thank me you. is people like assume that because like Libya is going into war now like for five years and so they assume that has been my whole life like. Mm-hmm. Like, so tell us about like growing up and being a child in the war zone. I'm like, yeah, it was nothing happening when I was a child, it was like very chill. Yeah, and they like, like, they people like imagine me as being like a child soldier of some sort or stuff. 
And I'm like, no, bitch. No. <laughs> like, watch TV. Uh, and like, oh, I don't know what, what to tell you. Like, or, or I don't know, like, if you have that, or like, oh, yeah. the, people ask you, like, how long you've been here. I'm like, oh, your English is so good. I get that. And you've been here for five years. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I get I'm that. Like, I've get learned that English back home. Like, I didn't learn it here. Yeah. It's just like. What's that disruption like to go from, you know, n- normal, everyday, whatever, what everyone would experience, you'd think, to, to, to war? Chaos and war, yeah. It, I mean, Violence. it was. I mean, yeah, it's, it's some, yeah, I mean, something like happened like out of the sudden, yeah. and it was just so weird. But but that? also, the reason that you had to come here was because you were helping yeah, there. Exactly. That's that's the other thing. Like because people are like why uh, why why did you come here if you don't like it or whatever? Because yeah, I was like helping like uh, like American journalists and stuff. And the reason I couldn't traitor. go back, yeah, that's what because you're a traitor. Co- that's why people back snitch. home were like they were, they were, like, they were, like, they were like, harassing you snitches. and your family. Exactly. You helped and Hillary, you and now we have slave trade. <laughs> <laughs> While you were putting your life at risk to help Americans, exactly, yeah, and I worked for the like the American embassy in Benghazi and stuff, and people oh like God. back home they're like, oh, this is like treason and stuff or whatever. Yeah. And then you come here and they're like, oh, what have you done to this country? I'm like, I've done more than you. Like I've like yeah. risked my life for these people yeah. that are like now are here. So it's just like, and then uh, they're harassing you within state lines. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that is an amazing story, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, do we want to, are we good? Do we want to ask another question? Are we good? I have so many more questions, but that just means you guys are going to have to come back. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We're about to have a follow-up episode. Yeah, where can people where can find you? Well? Uh, at Ollie Sultan Comedy and then at uh, Ollie underscore Sultan on Twitter. And what's the name of your, what special? special? Uh, it's not out yet, but it's 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 going to be out in, I don't know when it's <laughs> <laughs> Follow his social uh, media, you guys. Uh, yeah, go to my website, ollysultancomedy.com, and you can find my social media and all that good stuff. <laughs> on uh, Comedy Central. Yep, you can, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, you can I'm follow high. me on Twitter because I need more followers. <laughs> look, uh, look, this fucker has 23K followers. Uh, at Mohanid Al Shaky. Yeah. Can you spell Al Shaky for me? Uh, can you, you just, spell Mohanid? Yeah, M O H A N A D. And I feel like once you search that, you'll. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like the no other famous Mohanid. Uh, the only club. verified. You Mohanad. can actually. Yeah. You're just going to just type Mohanid Ice and it'll pop up. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Or just yeah. Mohanid Comedian. Like, honestly, you were so easy to, to yeah. research. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Conan's on Conan's radar. So just yeah. a quick yeah. little Google. And Paul Feig's. Yeah. Working on a project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so excited hey, for both of you guys. Um, this has been the Facial Recognition Comedy Podcast. Uh, you can find us at facialrecognitioncomedy.com. We have our show at the second Sunday of every month at Westside Comedy Theater in Santa Monica at 9 p.m. Um, and you can find us at Facial Recognition Comedy on Instagram and Facebook and Facial Rec Comedy on Twitter. We have merch now. We, we do. have shirts and stickers that are really cool, cool design by Fizz's roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin Romero, he's an illustrator. He um, did a great job. Yeah, DM us. Slide up in our DMs if you want to buy a t-shirt. Um, you Let can, us know what size. Yeah. Yeah. You can find me at Paula Viganalan, P-A-L-L-A-V-I-G-U-N-A-L-A-N. Everywhere. And uh, my socials are really Zara. Zara is spelled Z-A-H-R-A. And I am Fizza Dasani, F-I-Z-A-A-D-O-S-A-N-I, at Fizza Dasani everywhere. Yay. Thank you, guys. Thanks guys. Thanks, guys. Can you guys give us, can you guys give us like a little outro? You guys brought us in. Can you take us out in a coordinated way? Oh, yeah. That's uh, that. Welcome what's, to... No. Outro. <laughs> <laughs> podcast. What should we say? <laughs> Whatever you want. Whatever you want, man. How do you say goodbye usually? How do you want to end this podcast? You guys uh, just end it. Salam alaikum, everybody. <laughs> yeah, this was the best podcast on the...